Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Prophetia 1, Haka Inde Itlema and Ed Galungu dominate Zambia's role of honor for 2021. Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. The last part is amazing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. The flamboyant Nigerian self-styled prophet Andrew Ejmadu, popularly known as Sia One, arrived in Zambia around 2010 grew his ministry over the next seven years and became part of the protestant christian community as well as rooting himself in the country's spiritual fabric he also began to rub shoulders with the powerful political elites in president lungo's cabinet somehow he fell out with the authorities who deported him in april 2017 by that time however he had become a Zambian by faith and learned three things about many of the people he was leaving behind. Their gullibility, hypersensitivity to the occult and Christian fundamentalism. Using South Africa as his base and Facebook as his organizing platform, Sia One held a series of online meetings in which he raid against the then ruling PF. Initially, Many saw his antics as motivated by vendetta following his deportation. As such, in the beginning, his live chats provided the much needed comical relief in what was a highly polarized and depressing pre election environment. Things changed in 2021 when CR1 transformed himself into a well informed analyst of Zambian politics, mixing the ultra bizarre claims that the PF would lose because he had withdrawn the black magic that he gave them to win power in 2015 and 2016. And the sensible sound, understanding and analysis of the country's geopolitics, economic issues and how Lungo's failure to tackle corruption made his electoral defeat an inevitable reality. At his peak, his online live rallies would attract as many as 30,000 viewers on a single platform, a feat that no Zambian influencer, artist or media institution has ever achieved. Whatever his intentions and motivations, Sia One through his persistent rantings against the governing elites made two significant contributions to Zambians' struggle to rid themselves of a repressive regime and achieve political change. First, he raised the levels of civic awareness in a population that is prone to clerical mobilizations and where political messages are sometimes more effective when delivered in a religious language. Second, he exploited Zambians' deep connection to faith to generate a national siege of expectation that President Lungu would regardless of whatever attempts he makes to stay in power, lose the election. In an environment in which the governing party had looked invincible in so far as their removal from office was concerned, the Nigerian prophet presented God as a proud partisan who was said to deliver a miracle, the destruction of the invincible via the ballot. Edgar Lungu after many years of sliding into authoritarianism and acute economic decline, Zambia reclaimed its democracy and set itself on a possible path to economic recovery with the election of Hitlema in August 2021. Ironically, one person who deserves much credit for this change in direction is former President Edgar Longo. So Karamitas, was his leadership that he had inadvertently united most Zambians to register as voters and host him via the ballot. Ordinarily, it takes many people and institutions 
to raise the collective civic consciousness of the population. Thanks to his incompetence, Longo achieved this task almost single-handedly. Then despite all his anti-democratic machinations before the vote, after losing it, he gracefully conceded, though not before negotiating terms with his would-be successor. Congratulated the president-elect and proceeded over a smooth transition. It is worthy noting that Longo could have challenged Hitler's election in the constitutional court. An option that is available to any losing presidential candidate. Had he done so, it is not inconceivable that the court, which was widely seen as biased in his favor, would have invented reason to nullify the election of Hitler. Such a decision may have triggered violent protests and plunged the country into turmoil. Democracy usually thrives on unwritten norms. In many cases, these turn out to be more important than the written rules. Although Lungu's concession was strictly not necessary, it was crucial to paving the way for a smooth transition and consolidating Zambia's culture of peaceful transfers of power whenever an incumbent is defeated. Haka Inde Ichlema Aga Inde Ichlema has stood in successive elections since 2006, but it was as if everything he did in the past was preparing him for 2021. At a critical moment, he emerged to carry the aspirations of a generation, save as a symbol of what is possible, and inspire the hopes of so many millions of Zambians who overwhelmed with a collective sense of hopelessness were on the brink. These included the ordinary citizen, weighed down by the high costs of living. The common man and woman, egging out a living from the street. The impoverished parent, who could no longer afford to send their child to school. The student whose living allowance was withdrawn at short notice by the Lungu administration. The restless graduate looking for a formal job and the withered retiree whose benefits remained unpaid years after saving Zambia so diligently. Others were the dismissed, disparated or highly indebted public sector workers, including the poorly paid teachers and health workers. The marginalized citizen in rural communities the urbanite who longed for a return to law and order. The soldier living in deplorable conditions and barracks and renovated since Kenneth Kaunda's day. The professional police officer fed up of receiving instructions from the political elites in power. The small scale entrepreneur whose concerns went unnoticed. The hard-working farmer whose yield went to waste or fetched a price that hardly met the cost of production. And the mine worker who sought a win-win solution to the challenges at Mopani and Konkola copper mines. All these diverse interests and dreams were placed into the custody of each lemma as anonymous load for one person to bear, and which I suspect keeps him awake at night. Will he disappoint or will he deliver? Time will tell. Neighboring countries scheduled to host elections over the course of the next few years, such as Zimbabwe 2023, will likely look to Zambia for evidence of the effects of political change. More news to come, my lovely viewers. Make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and also turn on the bell icon to join the notification squad. For now, I'm out. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.